Today we're going to solve the challenge sensor on CSX. So we'll go over the instructions first. Create a function sensor that accepts no arguments. Sensor will return a function that will accept either two strings or one string. When two strings are given, the return function will hold on to the strings as a pair for future use. When one string is given, the return function will return the same string, except all instances of the first string of a saved pair will be replaced with the second string of a saved pair. All right, well, let's start with some pseudocode. So we need to declare a function sensor that takes no arguments. We also know because we are using closure to solve this, we need some sort of storage in this outer function that we can access from our returned function. So we'll create a variable cache to store key value pairs. We also know that we need to return a function that takes up to two arguments. And inside of our return function, we need some sort of control flow logic to check and see if one string was passed in or two strings were passed in. So check to see how many strings are passed into the return function if two strings are passed in. We want to save those as a key value pair in our cache variable. So if two strings are passed in, add to cache object as a key value pair. If one string is passed in, modify the string to replace any instance of the keys in the cache with the corresponding values in the cache. Then return the modified string. All right, I think we can start putting this into code. So first, we need a function sensor that takes no arguments. And then we need some sort of storage in this outer function, right? So let's just call it cache. And we'll set it equal to an empty object since we don't know what we're gonna store in there yet. We just know that we need to store things in pairs. Then we need to return a function that takes up to two arguments. So let's call the first one string one, and the second one string two. And we need a conditional, right? We need to see how many strings have been passed in. So I think the most logical way to do this would just to first check and see if string two exists. So we can have an if statement here, if string two, meaning that string two evaluates to truthy, which means it exists and it's not an empty string. We're going to add string one and string two to our cache object stored in our outer function in order to use it at a later point. So if there is a string two, we're going to store at the key of string one, the value of string two. And then we'll just return and close the execution context of this inner function as that's the only functionality we need from if there are two strings passed in. Since we are returning on line 11, this will close out this function. If we don't hit this conditional on line 9, we'll move on to line 13. 
we'll just move our pseudocode up here just so we know if one string is passed in we need to modify the string to replace any instance of the keys in the cache with the corresponding values in the cache so we can start by accessing all of the object keys using the object.keys method we'll pass in our cache object as the object keys we're trying to access this method returns an array of every key in the object then we can call the for each method on this array of keys and we'll call each element a key and we need to replace every instance of the key in our string passed in with the value stored in the key value pair in the cache. So we can use the string.replace method. So we'll reassign the value of string one to the evaluation of calling string one.replace. String one.replace takes in two arguments and it will replace any instance of the first argument with the second argument. So for the first argument, we'll pass in our key. For the second argument, we need the value that's stored at the cache at that key, which we can access with bracket notation. Once we iterate through all our keys, we can then return string one, and that should update our value. So let's uncomment these to see if our work is correct. I have a typo. All right, great. The slow brown fox jumps over the lazy cats. Looks like everything's passing.